All right, guys, now one thing I've not taken a look at a lot on this channel and I get a lot of questions about is gaming laptops. I've actually not really paid a whole lot of attention of what's going on in the industry with gaming laptops. So today we're gonna to take a look at Gigabyte's Ultra Force, Ultra Slim, lightweight mobile gaming computers. Now we've got the P34W here. It's a 14 inch gaming laptop. It's available up to a 512 gigabyte uh, M SATA SSD, GTX 970M capable, full HD screen. It's actually giving you one of the best performance per size ratio here, coming in at under four pounds. The thing is extremely light. It's got fan tweak on there, amazing battery life. You can actually adjust the fans to make the thing quieter if it's not under load. Not many laptops actually give you a fan curve adjustment, but the Ultra Force is actually giving you that. Now, if you want a little bit bigger screen, maybe a little bit more power, then the P35 X V3 would probably be a little bit more in your alley. I mean, it's a 15 inch screen, available all the way up to a 980M graphics card for the fastest graphics card you can put in a mobile solution right now. And of course, the storage is uh, linear as well. You can actually have two SSDs in this laptop. Now, if you just want to pull out all the stops and you just want to get the best performance you possibly can out of a laptop, then the Ultra Force P37X it's a brand new laptop, laptop that they're bringing to market here. It's a 17.3 inch screen. It's got a 980M graphics card in there, which as you know, we've already mentioned is the fastest mobile graphics card you can actually install. But here's the thing. It's got macro keys on the left side, which people have said they want. It's also got two M SATA slots in there on top of the SSD that's already installed in the unit, giving you three hard drive slots. And on the front here, it actually has an optical drive. I'm, but not only is it an optical drive, right? If you're like me, you think, oh, I don't use optical drives, why would I want that? Well, you're already thinking like I am, and check this out. You can actually hot swap out the slim drive, use their included bracket for SSD uh, SATA, slide this in with another SSD, and you have four hard drives in a gaming laptop. So no longer do you have to deal with storage capacity and size issues with uh, you know, the, the computer, guys. We're talking about the computer here. Transition. Hey, what's up guys? Jay's Two Cents here, continuing my Gigabyte coverage here at CES 2015. And as you know, Intel mentioned and launched Broadwell just the other day. And of course, that means Gigabyte is bringing you a brand new Bricks Tiny Ultra Mini PC. All right, guys, now let's go ahead and be honest. I am gonna cheat and use the little card here because this thing is so new, I have not had time to memorize the specs on this. But first thing to mention is it does feature both, or all three, i3, i5, and i7 Broadwell CPUs, the 50, uh, 10, 5020, and 55, or 50, 5200 and 5500U Broadwell uh, CPUs. Now, they're claiming that we're seeing upwards of 20% improvement overall by using Broadwell in the bricks. Now, if you guys don't know what bricks is, it is basically just an ultra tiny PC. I mean, it's got M SATA in here, it's got M SATA M.2 for the wireless, so you're no longer using that. Um, you know, that PCIe, mini PCIe, so you get faster wireless speeds on this, you get the Bluetooth 4.0, and the i7 models actually have NFC capability. Now what people were doing with the bricks is also using these as multimedia PCs and hooking them up to some sort of a uh, cloud storage or in-home storage for your movies and stuff. In fact, some of these models last year, I think this one does too, but don't entirely quote me on it, actually had a Visa mount, so you could mount this on the back of your TV. Now bricks is actually something that I think is really cool. It's something that uh, I, I was kind of fanboying over last year and I thought was really awesome. But you guys know me when it comes to overclocking. And Gigabyte also launched this year here at CES the brand new X99 SOC Champion overclocking motherboard. Now on the surface it may look like an OC force, but this is actually, when it comes to overclocking, pulls out all the stops. You've got eight layer PCB, you've got extra pins in the 2011 socket, which you can actually toggle those pins on and off with a BIOS switch here, so that you can actually activate and deactivate those pins based on your overclocking mood. But this thing is freaking heavy. I wish you could feel this. I mean, you can actually see from the side, there is no bowing or bending in this thing. You actually, it's, yeah, I'm bending their board, guys. I'm trying to anyway. It is very, very rigid. But this was actually used on Monday in their overclocking event where they exceeded 4,000 megahertz speed on DDR4. I mean, DDR4 is really starting to mature now and we're starting to see motherboards that can actually stabilize that speed. And the SOC Champion is certainly nothing short of that. I mean, you've got heat pipes running on all of the, v the VRM coolers here, MOSFET coolers, but you still have four-way SLI capable. So you could still run this thing in a gaming system and just overclock the hell out of your uh, 2011 
8-3 socket CPU. So guys, check out the X99 SoC Champion on Gigabyte's website if you want to learn a little bit more about that. And well, this is, this is awesome, actually. All right, guys, well, uh, you know, we are here in the Gigabyte booth, and of course it wouldn't be Gigabyte if we didn't have Water Force. Now I want to point out that I'm standing next to the thing and I'm still alive, so that's not entirely terrible, right? But no, they actually are very committed to this project. I mean, the Water Force is something that they believe in, and I guess they actually sold out of the units they had sent over to the United States. So somebody is obviously interested in this. But I do want to kind of point out that the case that they're using here was apparently a lot more uh, befitting of the project than the one that I was using. But, you know, hey, I figured we'd at least do some mention here of the Water Force. This is their big push. And we had a meeting with Gigabyte. I actually want to point this out. And I got an opportunity to really tell them, you know, how I felt about the Water Force, where I felt they missed the mark, what they should have done. They have definitely seen your comments. So I wouldn't be surprised in the future if we did see some revamp of the idea. So that's why we're even talking about it today is I do want you guys to know that they heard you and that they are committed to Water Force. But of course, it's their very first attempt at doing water cooling. They really wanted to hit the three-way SLI market, but they're definitely hearing, especially with the meeting that we had, my emphasis on single card. Single card is where it's at. So who knows, maybe in the future we could see a single uh, 120 millimeter uh, version of that. My call to action on you guys is what do you want to see from Gigabyte when it comes to water force. What would be perfect? Now I had suggested doing a single 120 millimeter rad and calling it a day. And they definitely heard that and they definitely feel that that could be a possible. But I think it's important for you guys to really be constructive in the comments and tell people or tell Gigabyte what it is you think would actually be viable. What would you buy? And guys, they're watching. So I figured we'd at least talk about Water Force. I kind of beat up on it a little bit, but hey, here we are, and we're all still friends. So that's a great thing, right? As always, guys, we are hanging out here at the Gigabyte overclocking uh, event going on, as well as checking out some of the things that they're bringing to market here in 2015. As always, guys, thanks for helping crowdfund this video. No sponsors on this one, just you guys. And as always, follow on Twitter if you have any questions. Behind the scenes coverage. Yes. See you in the next one. Yeah. That.